Hi everyone, this is Robbie Randall over at Intuit, and today I'm going to show you some improvements that we've made for your taxpayers inside of Intuit Link for ProConnect Tax Online. Now the first item we're going to cover is the ability for your clients to mark an item that does not apply for this year. The second thing I'm going to show you is how you and your clients can share comments in the context of an organizer item. Now we're going to go ahead and start inside of the client view for Intuit Link. So we're making the assumption that you've already sent the organizer out to your client. If you're not sure how to create an organizer or to get that information over to your clients, please refer to one of our previous videos for sending the invitation. All right, so we've sent the invitation. We are a taxpayer. We are now inside of Intuit Link. So I've already signed the engagement letter. So I'm going to come down here to the document checklist and open up the document checklist. One thing you'll notice here, I'm just going to click on this area to upload a W-2 for an employer. I could upload another W-2 or a W-2 if I needed to at this point. Instead, what I want to do is alert my tax professional to the fact that it doesn't apply to me for this season. Now, this could be anything. You know, maybe you received some investment income last year. This year, you don't necessarily have that same investment income. So as a taxpayer now, I could just come in here and check the box that it does not apply. This will alert my tax professional, hey, look, we need to skip over this item for this season. Now the second thing I want to show you is the collaboration piece. You've probably already noticed right below uh, this does not apply that there's an add a comment. As a taxpayer, I can let my tax pro know, hey, type in notes or whatever I need to in the comments section and then hit send. Now that works for my tax professional as well. So when I'm inside of Link as a taxpayer, which you'll notice up here, when I'm looking at my W-2 from the Rebel Alliance, all I need to do is click on add a comment and you'll see that my tax professional has alerted me to the fact that the W-2 that I uploaded doesn't necessarily match the Rebel Alliance. So now you see that backwards and forwards communication within the Intuit Link tool for the taxpayer. Just to give you a taste of what that looks like inside of Intuit Link for the professional, of course I can go into my Link dashboard and I'm going to click on Jimmy Jams, which is my client. And then over here on the right, once the drawer slides open, click on the document checklist. Here again is that W-2 from the Rebel Alliance. Click on add a comment. Here's the comment that I created earlier for my client. Hope you've enjoyed today's presentation. Again, we covered some improvements that we made for the tax payer, which includes marketing an item that does not apply for this season, and also some collaboration tools we've built in this year for you and your clients to communicate through messaging. Thank you so much.